Hey everyone, and welcome back to this ARK but it's 10,000 X series. In episode 2 today, we're continuing right where we left off from the last. We had just raided that massive base and now have some really good lines including Stegos, Kakarodontosauruses and Trikes now. So, with so many more players joining the server, there's plenty more raids to do as well. So that's exactly what we're going right into. I hope you enjoy. Hey, are you looking for a great server that has good pop for this coming weekend? Need somewhere for you and your friends to dominate? Well, look no further than Demolition Arg, which is wiping this December 15th with its fast paced features, instant tames, easy craft, 20x harvesting and mods, everyone has a chance. Plus, it's six man, so you have all the space for you and your homies for this wipe. If you're interested, check out discord.gg forward slash demolition arc or click the link below. And let's continue onwards with this video. Okay, so pre prepped my kit. I've been gone for a few days and the rat hole still isn't raided, even though a few people have uh, started joining the server now because I posted it in the last uh, video's description. Rat hole is looking nice. I'm happy with it. I haven't gone too overboard in turrets as if people haven't watched my video and they fly past, hopefully they still won't see where the base spot is. But there is a few bases I want to check today if they've been raided or not. Hopefully we can do a, a really big raid since we have everything to do it now. But for now, I just need to go check everywhere and see how it goes. I also made like 200 C4 and 100 rockets. So uh, yeah, let's get a move on. Yeah, someone came and cleaned up the raid. Let's see, they dropped all of the um, refining forges that I didn't manage to drop because I just couldn't be bothered at the time. I'd been raiding this base for so long. But maybe this guy rebuilt over here? That's my thought process. Still a lot here. Nah, this base looks like it's been completely done as well. So there's another big base somewhere on this server. And someone's just going around wiping the rest of the bases. Because this base wasn't fully wiped last time I was here. So I guess I'll go check all the on land spots. And then if I can't find anything, it's over to the caves. Then pearl caves. And then if there's nothing, I'm just going to fly around the top of the map. Because, uh, yeah, someone's been cleaning up. With my initial raid targets now being fully raided, I would have to go look elsewhere. Lucky enough for me, there was this new base that just popped up and it just looked as juicy as the last. Okay, that's one base. A lot of turrets. That's, yeah, quite a lot. Cyber Predator. Okay, right, I'm just gonna uh, mark a raid one smaller steps. Probably around the uh, same area-ish as that, but okay, that's one marker done. I think I remember one base being built up on one on 1010, and I think one being in North Zone Indent. So I'm quickly just gonna head over there and see if that base is still standing, because they're possibly the Alpha Tribe. I remember that base being huge. So unless they got wiped, we've got two raids to do already, which is huge. Just as I assumed correctly, the true alphas of this server were built over on Indent Pillar. Now, this base was definitely too big for me to raid on my own, as it was covered in techs, covered in heavies, and they were almost certainly capped. So for now, I would back off and do the other raid. Well, I'd have to run out of stamina right next to this base. Best place to probably raid this from, though, in all honesty, is probably over here. Ow. Get turrets do loads of damage to me. I can soak from this end. I might be able to get foundation support. And then move my way up to the back and skip all the front side turrets and just drop the tower. But for now, I think it's go back to base, prep as much as I can, and then raid that first base, then come back here. Try and get another person on as well, because damn. So, as soon as I made it back to base, it was back to doing the normal things I would need to do in order to do this raid. I'd go through the stego fridge that I now had and select the best four I owned, and I would go outside and start healing them on this 10,000x modded healing pad thing. It's so much faster than a Deodon and a Snow Owl and whatever you think combined, so we only need one of these for now. I'd also use my crafting skill and craft a bunch of stego saddles as... As you can tell, they capped at 350, and then I would make my way over to this monster of a base. And as you can tell, it's very loud. Damn, oh my god. I literally hear nothing other than bullets shooting me. It's actually crazy how loud that is. 
Oh, I can just leave this one soaking for a bit. I'm going to take this one back to hill. Doesn't seem like the guy's online, so I should be good. Now, remember, my stegos don't have imprint. These are literally fresh out from the raid. So to soak this base with no mate boost as well, it was going to take a little while. That stego has been absolutely annihilated. I don't even know if it's going to make it out. It's so low. There's actually so many turrets that shoot there. I might actually just have to try and run in and not even bother soaking and try and rocket down the uh, Jenny. Because if all of these turrets are capped, like, is it should be a normal occurrence on these 10,000, like, billion X servers. Uh, like, this could take me forever to do, so. Yeah, I think I might have to do that. Rush it next run. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just risk it. I'm going to rush this. barely dropped anything okay okay <laughs> okay obviously if i had imprint and mate boost and someone else doing this with me it would be so much faster but i'm running zero percent imprint i haven't even bred this thing yet so when i get back to base that's the first thing i'm doing and after an hour or two of soaking i finally managed to make a dent in some of their turrets and some of them started getting soaked now, I was using a strat with two different stegos where I would basically just run in, try and rocket some of the turrets and soak with both of them, then run out as they both exited on like 10k HP. I'll do this run a few more times and I finally managed to drop some of the turrets and blow my way into the base. But there was way more turrets inside as well that were all capped. So I would, uh, yeah, have to soak a lot more again. I think I've actually managed to soak most of the turrets now. There's a couple left. I didn't bring too many rockets, so but I'm going to have to go back for one more heal, and I think we're in. It's not been too long of a raid. I think most of the turrets only had a couple thousand bullets in them. But I am going to have to back off now, just to be safe. After one large big soak and heal again, I finally managed to make my way into this guy base. And he was right there, logged out as I was blowing my way in dropping every last turret I could that still had ammo to save some more. Once we finally got into the base, I got a little too overconfident and uh, forgot this server has mega boosted turret damage on players. If, if I hop off this, am I going to die? Oh. Oh. Can I take it? Thank you. Can I, can I go in the... What did I get hit by now? <laughs> on a real one where am i being shot from because i'm in here i'm just gonna have to be very selective you know, place one c4 there and well I don't, one here for now i guess oh please have just loads of arb loads of arb okay pace well i'm out of pace so i'll take that um more metal, Indie Forge. Nice. Any good lines? No? Okay, well, thank you for that. Anything in here? More paste? Metal? Okay, the usual. Uh, I know everything's going to go wrong as soon as I drop this, so I'm just going to hop on my Stego as soon as I can. Going to place like 10, whatever. Ah. <sighs> Okay, well, there's still turrets I've got to soak. And there's no way I'm doing it from here, so I'm literally going to have to walk around and soak them. Oh, there's apparently one there as well. You know what? I might just see four through. Why not? Is there really nothing inside that vault? Really? Nothing? Oh, no, there was. Okay. Um, yeah, nothing too important. 
Well, I guess we can call it quits on this raid. I mean, I'll take all the autos because I do need more heavies, but for a mega boosted server, um, yeah, I can't say I'm not disappointed. But anyways, on to the uh, next raid, I guess. After clearing out that last raid, I was down to go clear out another cave that's on the island. A lot stronger of one of that as well. So I'd start by placing my down a smithy and a few beds as the people weren't online. I wouldn't really have to fob up and place any turrets for the time being. I also bought trikes and stegos for this raid as uh, stegos are going to be pretty useless inside the cave. They're not going to fit at all throughout it. But anyways, I got to work on soaking and uh, mostly used the trike for the outside as it's just better at soaking tech turrets and it literally took like next to zero damage. So I soaked as much as I could on the outside and then kept pushing my way towards the entrance. These guys really don't have much ammo in their tech towers. Can I get this one as well? Nice. I'm slowly making my way into the base. I can start rocketing stuff down, taking all these turrets out so they can't like reuse them again. But this is barely the inside of the cave, so I don't know how much I've still got to raid and blow up. I'm gonna be here for a long time probably. Oh, nice, I've managed to get a spot where I can soak the tech turrets on the roof and a few heavies on the ground. Don't know how much ammo are in these ones, but we're slowly getting deeper and deeper. I'm going to have to work my way in enough that I can just lob out a stego and hopefully push myself into the wall or something. I don't know. As I finally made it to the entrance of the cave, I'd have to make sure to look out for the turrets on top of the roof, as if I was to throw out my trike in there, I'd get shot off immediately. Alright, I'm going to have to just cryopod this guy and throw him out. Cool. Well, that's kind of awkward. One's just behind me, absolutely melting me. Am I see if we're going to place? Hello? I guess not. I'm going to have to rocket it. Oh, I, I guess rockets won't work either. Oh, never mind. There you go. Oh, well that's not fun to see either. And it's not even hitting my head, it's hitting my leg, bro. How do I position myself so it doesn't... There you go, it's hitting my head now. Okay. Oh, rest in peace to Ryan I managed to rocket it, but it didn't break. Oh, my, no, I'm wearing these. Is that snake hitting my stego? That is not. Okay, never mind. Oh, here it is. Wait, is this just the base? What? Did he? Oh, I guess he didn't bother doing anything else. Oh, damn. Yo, come here, bro. I guess not. Um, I did not expect this raid to end this quick. Ah. So, I finally made it into the raid, and it looked just as juicy as before. All of these auto crafters would be sure to give me a lot of resources, meaning I could upgrade my rat holes so much. If it wasn't so late, you guys would have more of a reaction. Let's just do the boom boom. Anything special on you? The other thing I want to check. <laughs> nice and good flak. I've been needing that. Some crossbow grapples. I need more flak. Don't need any more of that. Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. Oh, oh. oh. There you go. All right. I guess we'll take the meat. Like, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Ooh, yes, definitely. Ooh, paste, my favorite. The only resource that's hard to get on this server is paste. I really am surprised. This base had nothing like, well, no, it had, definitely had stuff in it, but it was this easy to raid. 
I was expecting this to be like the main alpha like base on the server, but you know, apparently not. I just haven't found them yet. Doesn't seem to be anything else in this cave either, so is there something wrong here? That is literally nothing. Damn. Okay. Well on to the third raid of the video now then. Okay, made it back, deposited everything. I could probably extend out the bottom of this base now. The amount of foundations and giant behe gates and everything I've got. Just put turrets everywhere and a tech gen. But I think I'm just going to hold out on it for just a bit longer. As there is one more raid I want to do before I go to bed tonight. So, uh, yeah, I think that's the one we're going to do. Where did I put my smithies? Have I got them on me? Oh, I do. <laughs> All right, we're in the bottom right of the map, lava cave. Can't tell if someone's built in here. Been patched up for now. Stone? Oh, really? How am I meant to know if this is a base or not? Probably get this out just in case. Even though it won't fit, it'll keep me alive for the first like rocket or so. Don't really intend on dying. Okay, I don't know how I managed that, but whatever. Uh, the whole base. I'm gonna have to gamma up. How did that, bro? My gear, what? I'm about to die. Oh, hello. What is this, bro? There's no. I want foundation out the whole cave. For what reason? Oh my god. This is sick. And I don't feel like blowing it up. I got can I hatch it this stuff? Oh I can. Alright, I don't have to I don't have to blow up his base. We can just rob him for all of his paste and then leave. The ultimate plan. Can I can I hatch it this? Nice. Okay, cave damage actually came in clutch. Definitely will take all of that. Is that a mean frog. Oh god. Hello, Mr. Froggy. Oh! Bad frog. Duh. After clearing out Lava Cave, I actually ended up making my way and flying all the way over to Herbivore Island, where I would find another one of the bigger bases on this mega boosted server. So I had plans to raid it straight away, as I didn't want them logging online again, as uh, this one would be a lot more difficult, and if you look at it, you can clearly tell that. Oh, this looks like a good raid. The turret scattered everywhere, or is it just on top? My glass. Not spread everywhere on top, so I could place a healing pad up there. Mixture of techs and normal heavies. Tops completely blocked. I think the best way to raid this, honestly, is soak the towers on top and then just do the bottom. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is going to be the raid we're going to finish up on, for sure. This one looks insanely juicy. And it's big enough to store dinos, so we know they've got good stuff. Finally managed to angle it, and now I can sit here and... Uh Look all the techs as well. Some of the techs at the same time. Just gonna be a long process this raid, I feel like. But it's definitely gonna be worth it. It has to be. I just got absolutely melted, oh my god. I think it might be time to switch to the stego. Uh the down below I just remembered. I can soak a lot more at the moment. This is really good. Don't see any tech turrets either. Literally just run all these dry and then move over to the next ones and then we can blow the Behe gates and we're good to go. We'll be able to finally do this raid. Oh, I just got bear trapped. 
Apparently this guy just set up random ones up in the, the grass. Very smart to be honest. It's a shame his turrets don't have too much ammo in them. Uh, I think I've soaked all the top turrets. I think? Just need to double check. Walk along here. Uh, there's still a couple. Okay. Once I've soaked all of these. Finally push down to the main base and then we're good to go. After I'd soaked the last couple of turrets on top of the base, I could finally make my way down and start soaking on the side and the main part of the base. We were finally nearly into all of this juicy loot, so let's go into it. Alright, I just need to soak these and I'm good. Well, soak these tech anyway. Once these tech turrets are soaked, I can just actually push up. Nice. Got these last last few and then it's purely heavies left and i'm basically in the base and we've wiped three of the biggest bases on the server so far i just have the uh the big one on north pillar left hey what are you doing i uh, literally a couple turrets left go drop straight into the base too much i could probably just walk up to it to be honest now but i'm just gonna waste every little bullet this guy has Actually, no, I see the to this now. I literally can just run around here. I'm just wasting time at this point. Nice. Finally made it to his base, though. It only took me like an, uh, like an hour and a half to do this, to be honest. It wasn't a long one. Hopefully, it contains a lot of good loot, though. Are these large walls? Just place extra. Ah! Okay. Well... The gen's right there, so, um... Ow, ow. Bro, this tail. Bro, this tail store. What? I don't want to have to do this, bro, but you're just, like, looking the way. Made my gear get broken. Thanks. Nice. Okay, we're in. Where's this guy's body? That's what I want to find first. Here he is. Hello, mister. What you got for me today? C4. Nice. Nothing too special other than C4. Uh, that's a lot of vaults. Don't even have enough C4. I should do. I think I have some saved in my uh, thingy as well. Okay, here's what I want. Anything special? Bro, why so many empty ones, hello? Oh, okay. Any better than my line? No. No. Uh, no. No, I literally think none of them are better. Oh, we'll take them anyway. It's still good loot for free. Um. Okay, that's a lot of different. I kind of guess what a lot of this is. Well, metal, cementing paste, polymer. I'm guessing silica pearls. Carbon? I don't, is that obsidian? Uh, no, wait. Obsidian was... Is this Spanish or Portuguese? I don't know. Anyway, let's just go boom. Oh, okay. Nice. Wait, this is actually some sick loot. I could actually make the biggest base on the server at the moment if I wanted to. With the amount of stuff I've got. Chances are I'll probably get raided one of these uh, days I log off because I haven't actually put that much into my base. I've kind of just been going out raiding every day instead. But with all of this, I could make a monster. In the end, I completely cleaned up this base and took basically all of the loot. Now, I'm not going to lie, I didn't exactly use all of my C4 on all these vaults as I basically had more than what these guys had, so the raid wasn't entirely worth it in the end. But anyways, I would clean out as much as I could, and this is the perfect place to end off episode 2 of this uh, 10,000 X series. If you guys want to watch the rest, feel free, I'll just whack some music over it. But um, episode 3 should be out tomorrow. I'm going to keep playing on this series until Vanquish comes out on this weekend. And uh, yeah, that's basically my plan. But take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon.